guys, welcome back to the channel. Taking a break from the Evo this weekend. In the last video, I got the new outer tie rod ends and the new sway bar end links installed. I also did the best I could with a DIY home alignment. I did actually fix the steering or suspension issue that I was having. For this video, I've got to focus on the old workhorse here. As you saw in the intro, I've got two TPMS sensors that are not working and I've got one that is reading low that is actually not reading correctly. The truck is coming up on nine years old, so those batteries I think are dying. I'm gonna go ahead and replace all four. But that's what I'll be doing for this video, new TPMS sensors. Stay tuned. If you didn't see the last video or any of the Evo videos, definitely go check them out if you're into those cars. Spent the last year and a half, actually a little more, working on this thing, building it up. Figure most of you that clicked on this are not subscribers, you're just looking for the truck video. See here inside when I turn everything on. Those back two went out. This one went out all on its own. This one over here actually started reading less, but it wasn't correct. Every time I would check it, it was reading fine, and then it finally went out. This one's doing the exact same thing right now. Here's the sensors that I picked up. I got them off of Amazon. I know they fit a bunch of different models of Silverado. I think it's all the way from like 03 all the way to 18 or 19. These had good reviews. There were some mixed reviews, but it sounded like it was a lot of just installation errors. They were pretty cheap compared to the OEM stuff. Hopefully they work good. I'll leave a link down in the description just in case you want to pick some up. I'm gonna get the truck up in the air. I'm gonna get the front wheel off. Get these old TPMS sensors out of here. I've got to release all the air, so I'm gonna to pull the little valve stem that's in there. I don't exactly have a full plan yet on how I'm going to break that bead. I do have a couple of ideas in mind. Once I figure out how to do one, the rest should be pretty easy. First, a new TPMS sensor is installed. Install actually went pretty smooth, not too many issues at all. First step is if you've got one of these things handy, it really helps out. It's just a little valve core stem remover. You can do it the old fashioned way too. Just get you a little flathead screwdriver and just push in on it and you'll just have to hold it there until all the air is released. The next thing to do, which wasn't really hard, it was just kind of hard to figure out how I was going to do that and that's breaking the bead on the tire. Originally tried just using my regular jack, putting it underneath the tire and then I sat the tire underneath the running board there. I thought the bead had actually broke at one point so I lowered it and I checked and it actually did not. I watched a video on YouTube and a guy used one of those little hand crank jacks for like a small car. Pretty sure my truck has one too, but I've never actually had to use it. However, on my work van, I've had to use this thing a couple of times. I've had blowouts. I used this and I used a block of wood. I just sat it on the tire and then what I did is just sit it underneath the frame. I just cranked that thing over. It worked perfectly. It popped that tire off the bead. This big tire spoon in the back. This is what I use to pry the tire down. I got one block of wood underneath the bead on one side and then I got this big one on the other side. There is a little screw you have to take out and it is a Torx. Not a whole lot of room to get underneath there so without having the tire come all the way off this is what I had to do. First and probably most importantly is make sure you get a towel to block underneath the tire so that nothing falls in there. What I had to do was take my little socket here put it in there and I just used a wrench to turn it with. Once you get the bolt out the battery and the monitoring system here will come out with it. For that you just have to get the stem out. I just use my dikes and wire cutters to chip away at that 
rubber on there, used my pliers, grabbed a hold of it, and then finally was able to pull it all the way through. Here's one of the new ones. They're already all put together. So all you have to do is just seat that little rubber seal in there. Once you push it through from the back side, what I did is I just used the old end cap. I put it on there so that it wouldn't tear up the new one. I pulled it up just a little bit. It popped right through. It didn't take much pressure at all. I know they make stuff to seal the beads on tires, but I just used my little soap and water combo. You want to be pretty liberal with it. You don't want to put just a little bit. You want to make sure that nothing is on there so that that bead seals really, really well. Last thing to do is hook up the air. Just start pumping it in. If you do hear a leak anywhere, which my leak was actually right over here, all I did was just take my foot, push it in a little bit, and then you can start to hear it inflating from the inside. Just keep pumping it in. It'll seal all the way around. Eventually, it'll pop that last little bit. I got sprayed in the face a little bit when it finally did seal that bead. I'm going to knock out the other three. I'm going to get them all synced up to the truck and then probably take this thing for a little drive just to make sure everything's okay. TPMS sensors are installed. Once you do that first one, every other one seems pretty easy. I feel like anybody could do this at home as long as you have some way of breaking that bead. If I didn't have the frame of the truck to put it up against, I don't really know what I would use. The only other thing that I can say wasn't actually difficult, it was just figuring out a way to do it, was get that little small bolt out of there. This is a T10 and then it uses a quarter inch wrench to turn it. Aside from that, pretty smooth install. The next thing that I have to do is get the new ones resynced to the truck. To do that, I should just be able to turn the truck on, not completely on, but just turn the ignition on. Once it's on, I should be able to hold the little check mark down for a few seconds and that should start the syncing process. There we go, so it honks and it says tire learning active. Now that the tire learning is active, what I'm gonna do is decrease the pressure just a little bit in the driver's side front. It should honk at me once it picks up the pressure. Blow a little bit of it out here. 
been a couple of days letting the air out of the tires did not work i saw a couple of youtube videos i also read on a few forums where guys said that letting the air pressure out worked perfectly fine for them but i could never get it to beep i got on amazon ordered this for 10 bucks you do the same thing inside for the tire relearn and then instead of letting the air out of the tires you just run this thing across each wheel push the button down and it should sink each one i'll do the driver side stuff since that's over in the street and then jagger wants to do the passenger side huh Turn the truck on again, hold down the check till it beeps. Do the driver front. All right, Bubsy, you ready? Yeah. Okay, come here. Hurry, I need you to hurry, you gotta hurry. All right, press the button one time. Good job, come back here, come back here. Come back here, hurry, run, 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 run. Press the button one time. There we go. All right, you stay here. I'm gonna go do the last one. No, I gotta do it over here. That worked absolutely flawlessly. Boom, there's all my new tire pressures. I'll leave a link down in the description if anybody wants to pick this thing up. Just FYI, it does require a nine volt battery. Taking the truck out for a little drive. I'm on the highway. I've been going about 80, no issues at all. TPMS sensors are all reading great. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you out installing your own sensors, please hit that like button. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button so you can catch stuff going on with the Evo. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.